hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nakisha so for today's video i will be showing you guys how to do your makeup to achieve a flawless flawless base you think this look good on camera you want to see this in person i hope you guys enjoy this content if you do please to leave a thumbs up please to also leave your comments down below i love to hear you guys this feedback i read them and i try well i respond to everybody that i see so if you're interested in content like this remember to subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in my next one let's get into it <laughs> okay so let's get right into it so the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is fill in my eyebrows you guys already know how to do this if you are new here there is a eyebrow tutorial that is available for you guys a full eyebrow tutorial is on my channel i will link it to this if you're interested in learning how to fill in your eyebrows i usually fill in my eyebrows i don't mark any lines because as you guys can see i have a lot of eyebrow hair so i just fill in mainly the tip and then i just take the spoolie and fill it in i'm using a dark brown eyebrow pencil it don't matter what eyebrow pencil you have just make sure it's dark brown I'm busting a dance because I was listening to music while doing my makeup. So right here, I'm just using my concealer to clean up my eyebrow. You can use whatever concealer you have. Just make sure the concealer is two shades lighter than your skin tone. So I'm making my arch and then I just use my finger to blend this out. After that, I go in with my foundation. You need a foundation that matches skin to do the top of your brow just to you know avoid any flashback in case you're taking pictures or just to avoid that halo look so that's basically what we're doing here just cleaning up the brow just to define it after that i take my finger and then i blend that out again so if i feel like there's areas that i need to fill in i go back and i fill those in and then i just blend them out so i'm gonna go into skin now so let's talk about skin guys in order for you to get a flawless base you want to make sure that you're prepping your skin properly so i was wearing some you know eye patches i don't know if those work but i have them so i wear them so i'm adding some primer and your primer is the star right here of the show because you need something to grip your foundation onto your skin with but before you add your primer make sure that you're using your skin products which is your skincare products so i see a lot of people come online and they sell you a lot of influencers sell you a bunch of skincare but i'm telling you guys right now for somebody who have been troubling with skin acne for years the simpler the better it is for your skin right now the only thing i use on my skin i only use a face wash niacinamide hyaluronic acid and my moisturizer that's it so basically in order for you to have the perfect skin which i don't think that is possible drink some water eat clean you can't drink soda and eat sugar stuff and expect that your face is going to work with you you need to balance out your ph so i will advise you to drink a lot of water and i think i can speak on this because i have had acne whooping my butt even as an adult so i know what i'm talking about i get my skin clear every now and then and then they still it still break out like even when i used to have my lady time that will happen but i i, I changed my diet i stopped i stopped eating dairy and i started drinking only water i don't drink juice unless it's natural juice and i'm seeing tremendous results i do have scarring but at least i'm not breaking out like i used to so yeah skincare is important you cannot put makeup over bumpy or um acne skin and then you think it's gonna be a flawless base it don't work like that but right here i'm just adding my foundation the foundation that i was using is from maybelline and this is also a maybelline concealer so i was using the matte foundation i like the dewy one but they didn't have it when i went to buy it so i had to opt for the the, the uh, matte one these days i've been using brushes you guys to blend out my concealer and to blend my foundation i used to use beauty blenders but i feel like beauty blender sucking your products okay when i use the brush i get more coverage 
I use less products and I get like an airbrush finish. So I really like my brush. This brush is from Morphe. I have a lot of Morphe products because when I just started out makeup, I got introduced to Morphe and I like their line of products. So this is where this brush is from morphe but this is not a concealer brush it is a foundation brush but i like using it because as you guys can see it has a flat tip so it gets under my eyes um so yeah one thing with me i'm gonna blend my makeup i'm gonna blend and i'm gonna spend time it don't matter how long it takes i'm gonna spend time to blend out my makeup because that's how you're gonna have a flawless base that's how you're gonna get a great result so i'm just blending concealer under my eye and over my eyelids because i will be putting on some eyeshadow i'm also gonna go in with this born this way concealer just to base my eyes so that whenever i put my eyeshadows on i get more of a vibrant look so i'm just you know just blending it because this concealer is very thick i don't know about you but this one is not my favorite at all it is too thick but i'm just blending out as best as i can So this is pretty much self-explanatory so i'm just setting the areas that i added my concealer and i'm just prepping it for my eyeshadow basically the setting powder that i'm using if you guys are interested it's the banana powder from morphe you can find morphe products on their website and you can also find morphe products in ulta so that's basically what i'm doing and this little triangle sponge thing you can find this on amazon because that's where i bought mine then after i added my setting powder i just go in and dust out my eyebrows you know just to keep everything uniform then i'm going in with my morphe 350 palette i've had this palette for years and i've had it sitting there not using it because like i tell you guys i'm not the biggest eyeshadow person but i feel i felt like wearing eyeshadow today so i'm just going in my creases with this color right here it's a nice brown warm shade very neutral and i'm just going into my crease with that now you're gonna do the same thing for the other side anything you see me doing on one side i will be doing it on the other side so that's basically what i'm doing just blending that color into the crease and then after that i'm going to take the prettiest nude that i've ever seen Scene. it's in this palette the 350 palette and I'm just gonna use that to put over my eyelids now that I needed to like break it up or anything but just to be <laughs> just to be sure I just made sure I break it up I didn't spray my brush or anything this is a dry brush and this is the product like natural in its natural state I love this color it is very pretty so just imagine if I did like a cut crease or if I actually wet my brush it would look so vibrant and pretty but I didn't want to do that but yeah I'm just adding that to my lid and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one So for this look, I wanted to wear black eyeliner. It's been a while. It's been a while since I worn my black eyeliner. So I'm just adding that to my my um, eyes. And then I'm going to do tight lining as well. Because guys, if you know of any good liquid eyeliner, please to leave those suggestions down below. I've tried several eyeliners and I feel like they all bleed. And I refuse 
to waste my money on eyeliners that bleeds i want something that is top quality it don't matter how much it costs because i am not the best at making a wing so when i make my wing i don't want it bleeding everywhere so if you guys have any suggestions of a good liquid eyeliner please to let me know so after i tight line i'm going to add some lashes i am not into strips anymore because I like my individual sets so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna curl my lash and then I'm gonna cut a strip in two because I have a strip and then I'm just gonna add that strip to the end of my lash so it's not very long it's a very natural strip so when I blend it with my mascara it's gonna look like my original lashes so this is a simple way of adding lashes without it being too loud After I finish my eyes I'm just gonna finish up my skin so I'm just adding my concealer to my t-zone areas and then I'm just gonna blend that out I'm gonna set it and I'm also gonna contour my face I'm gonna use powder contour because I was lazy I wasn't really into doing any more blending my hands were tired so I'm gonna do a powder contour so yeah I'm watching the video I'm seeing how pretty the eyeshadow is it is so pretty 
like seriously so I'm gonna use this contour palette which is the BR cosmetic contour palette and I'm using my powder brush just to add some definition back in my face because as you guys can see I'm pretty white so I'm just adding some color back into my face with my um, contour palette from BR cosmetics and I'm using a big fluffy brush from Bobbi Brown to do that so basically you just want to contour going up do not ever drag your products down if you drag your products down you're gonna look older so always aim to pull your face up not down okay so this is what I hate you see when you have like anything tied around your lace you have to make sure that you're getting up into there because if not your all of your face is gonna have on makeup and then your hairline is just gonna left bare don't do that make sure you're pulling up your head tie <laughs> to I guess blend in your products but look at my skin you guys tell me now look at that tell me tell me some skin no flawless if if you if you talk about my skin no look flawless right now you is a hater but anyways contouring the nose it's pretty much contoured already because of the whole heap of eyeshadows that i use and the whole heap of um concealer but today i just wanted to do a straight nose so that's what i went ahead and did so don't be afraid you guys to contour your nose i'm not using any liquids any creams i'm just using my powder to contour with a little fine brush and this is what i do to get that that straight nose result see you just guys you just have to know the angles of your face you see as long as you know the angles of your face and you're practicing you will get your makeup part So you want to make sure that you're blending out the harsh lines that you had with the concealer so make sure that you're bronzing up your face make sure you're contouring make sure you're putting back color into your face because one thing you don't want is when you're taking pictures you have a flashback but just to give you guys a close-up of what that makeup look looks like so pretty but i wanted to have a very white under eye so the morphe powder that i used earlier it's more of a yellow undertone this is more white so what's gonna happen is gonna give me a bright under eye so that's why i'm going for the air spawn powder as you guys can see it's more white you know it's translucent so it's gonna give me a white under eye and after i do that i'm gonna add my mascara to my bottom lids to my bottom lashes and i'm just gonna add some of this powder all the places that i added um concealer earlier which is my nose my forehead my cupid's bow my chin and then i'm just gonna you know just to define my cheek a little bit after i define my cheek i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna add some more contour powder just to define my contour <music> So you added all that white powder you want to make sure that you're taking your um your bronzer and then you're blending again because you like i said you don't want to have a white flashback so make sure that you're blending the powder into your skin 
and make sure that you're spraying your setting your setting spray when you add like you know powders like this that are so defined the the key to every makeup look guys is blending and knowing when to blend you don't want to just put the product on your skin and have it sitting there that's not gonna work so you're gonna see me like repeating different steps because that's what you're supposed to do when you're adding your makeup so like i said i'm just bronzing up my face anywhere i feel like look too harsh that's where i'm just going over with my big fluffy blending brush some blush blush is like the i guess it's like the thing that brings everything together because look how you just put on your blush and look how your face just look alive like i don't get how people don't wear blush you need blush so i typically add blush everywhere to my cheeks to my chin to my forehead wherever i feel like i need blush i'm going to add my blush okay so this blush is from Thrive Cosmetics. I've been using it since the other day. It's a nice warm, like burgundy red or orange. But look at this look, it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with my lips as well. This is a lipstick called Bone from NARS. I do not wear lip liners. I already have big lips. What the heck am I putting lip liner for? I don't need it. So I'm just stopping off my boned lipstick with this lip gloss um, from Thrive Cosmetics and yeah this is basically what it looks like. I can't with the lip liners guys it's, it's just not for me but I'm giving you an up close look and yeah. Okay, if you stick around to the end of the video, this is what my makeup looks like after I finish curling my hair. Let me come close and give you guys an up close um, look at the makeup. It looks absolutely stunning in person. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like content like this, remember to leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and also remember to leave your comments because i love to hear from you guys i guess i'll see you guys in the next one it's your girl nakisha thank you guys so much for tuning in this week and i'll see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.